Hey friends, it's Jenny, and I'm here to share with you another layout that I made using my Through the Seasons kit. Through the Seasons is something I do with my friend Jeannie Linguini from the Girl Cave along with several other people. Now, this is the Doodlebug Fairy Garden kit. I've used some of it before, but I did put everything that I have left in the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and move these things aside. We'll talk about them in a, in a second, and I'll show you my layout. So, this is my little one, again. They, um, she has her little, it's a baby hippo here, and she's purple, and she was bringing her around to smell the flowers. Now, I think that's adorable, and what is a better representation? I saw, you know, like I was thinking of her, the pink and the purple as, you know, just sweet fairies. So that's, that's definitely what drew me to go ahead and use this collection that I had included in my kit. So what I've done here is this outside paper that I've gone ahead and used as a full mat is actually from the Petite Prince from Doodlebug. And, and this color is called Lilac Plaid Polka Dot. So I used the plaid side, obviously. So I used the plaid side. I did got it. And not all the way. All I needed was I put it around the photo. Though you saw my little Frankenstein back here. What you see here is this was a full piece of paper, this heart paper. Um, and that is called, from the Fairy Garden Collection, this one is called Rainbow Love. So the one side of it has all these rainbows and this had the hearts on there. So I did cut this down and this, I believe, I cut to, I think seven inches. So I cut it seven and I just cut a half inch off the sides. This stripe paper here was actually a scrap that I had left from other layouts that I made. So it was it was a little larger than this. I cut it to five. The spring has sprung as well as the fairy suite are from border strips. So this is what I did. So you can see you've got the rainbows here, got the flowers down here. Um, I went ahead, you know, and I, I put everything down, but then I put this just band across right across the middle where everything meets just to give it a little bit more stability. Now you'll see here I've got ephemera I have used. I've used some doodle pops. We've got the little bee, this little fairy, this little ladybug, and a little snail. Those are all doodle pops. The fences and this little girl on the swing and the butterfly and the little mushroom house and the little flower clusters, they're all from the ephemera. I also used, Bella Boulevard has shape sprinkles and I have both the mushroom meadow and the birds and bugs. And you'll see here, so that there's a butterfly here. I've got mushroom cluster here. I've got a little bit of grass outside the house there. And I've got another butterfly here. So I used, you know, several of both, both packages actually, you know, with using the mushrooms and then the little bugs. So I used all of those. Now the collection, this came out in 2021, so it's not that old. I also made sure to go ahead and use some lilac assortment sprinkles. So we've got some here, and I used just the one color, this medium uh, purplish cluster here, cluster here, cluster over here. Here is the package of Doodle Pops that I used on this one. So you can see I've used all but the little, I think it's a firefly, I'm not exactly sure, but I used the bee and those two little buggies that I showed you before. So I've got, a, you know, one more and a couple of flowers to use at another time. This package had this little fairy. I can go ahead and throw this packaging away now. She is called Blossom. Here is the paper that I cut the two different border strips from. So this was this was a scrap and I just went ahead, like I said, I used two border strips. <coughs> the fairy suite as well as the spring has sprung. This is what I have left of this 
striped paper. And I honestly, I love both sides. I love the flower side and the striped side. So it'll definitely get used. I'm not getting rid of any of this. I put all of the ephemera for this collection because um, I had a mix of like a full set and a half a set. So I just put what I have left. I, I'm just keeping it in this scrapbook.com envelope. And then I did use just a couple stickers. So you'll see here, there's just two of them actually missing. Um, I tried to audition some more and they just didn't work out. But I have this little fairy here. And then I have this one on the mushroom here. Now, as you can see, a lot of my stuff has been, is on dimension. I, I have added a lot of dimension to this. It's kind of like a scene down here, like a little, um, a fairy scene with my picture and then just you know let the sun shine on them with the clouds and here's our other little fairy hanging from the tree so again this is a paper that I had in my through the seasons kit using what I have not having anything new in here again I don't have an idea of how many layouts I'm gonna get done there's no requirement to get a certain amount done. It's just use what you have, enjoy what you have. And this collection, I've got actually, I have a couple of two years ago at She Loves Color. There was an instructor from Three Craft Chicks there and she used this collection there. So I have all of these layouts that I made at these different crops and things like that, you know, classes. I don't have pictures on yet. So I actually took um, a hint from my friend at Scrapping in the Sticks, Donna, and I went ahead and I took all of the layouts that I have that are complete, that are ready to have pictures put on them. I put them in binders so that when I, you know, get inspired and I maybe want to go pull out a base page, I've got some that are done already. Like I said, there's several from this collection as well as others that I've done from Cop and Create or just the classes that I like to take that we put all these layouts together and I don't, you know, have photos for at the time. So maybe that'll be a little series that I work through. I know Donna is doing that as well right now where she's actually taking her base pages um, that they may not be put together yet, but she's got all of the supplies for a layout that she wants to make and she's pulling them out and using them. And that's the whole goal, to use our stuff. I love it still. Um, I don't regret having it, but it needs to be on a page. That's where I'm gonna like it so much better. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let, let me know what you think of my little scene here, of my little, little girly and her uh, fairies. And again, thank you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that great stuff. I do appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.